Hey Ruben, how is it going? Great Cole. I am so glad we worked out your contract situation. Me too. I think the fans are happy I stayed and I did not want to be traded to Texas or any other team. The cheese steaks here are just too good to pass up. Isn't that right John Crook? Without a doubt. You are the ace of our staff now. Please do not tell Doc. I don't know how he will take it. You got it Chief. But I want to pitch in October again Ruben. Make that shit happen. This team is going to have quite the off-season, Cole. We will be going after strong hitters and bullpen pitchers who know what hitting their locations feels like. Good. I am tired of pitching with no run support and having the pen blow all my starts out the window. I can assure you that we will score a lot of runs for you next year. With Mark Reynolds and Josh Hamilton we should be okay. Good. Good. I have had my fill watching Mayberry struggle at all aspects of the game. He is not a major league player. He is not a minor league player. He should be a car salesman or some shit like that. Sorry about that, but he will no longer be in the picture. I am also getting rid of all the other old players who have no skill. And you won't see Mike Schwimmer's goofy ass on the hill either. Your plan sounds good. I want another World Series, World Series MVP and a new car. Oh and that big fucking ring as well. Yes. Yes. I am glad you're on board. Time for Philly to remember what team brought them a championship last. Take that Andy Reid. Can you please replace Bastardo, too? I can. And I will. Nice. I would rather see Jamie Moyer come in than watch that little bastard blow another game. I am trading him to Columbia for some drugs to make sure Josh Hamilton is happy in Philly. That was a low blow Ruben. Josh is clean and a classy ball player. But really all I care about is him hitting 105 home runs at the bank. He will certainly thrive here. For sure. Pencil him in for 250 RBIs. I can't wait to pitch in front of sold out crowds again. I feel like I am in Atlanta. Also what's with the Nats being in first place and still no fans? It is probably because no one wants to root for a team with assholes like Jason Wirth or Bryce Harper. Yeah fuck Jason. He is more overpaid than the Kardashian girls. Agreed. Congrats on getting some good prospects for Victorino and Hunter Pence. Yes, I thought we did well considering Victorino can't no longer hit for average or at all for that matter. And we don't need Pence teaching kids to swing the bat like it's a magic wand. I even managed to get a decent prospect for Joe Angus Burger Blanton. Yeah you certainly got more back than you did than when you traded away Cliff Lee. Yeah I definitely fucked up that trade. Sorry guys then I backed that up by signing Jimmy Rollins to a bad deal. Yeah we've had our fill with him not hitting or hustling. His glove is not getting any better. I wish Galvis did not do drugs and break his back. Or he would play shortstop while I pitched. He will be back before you know it, and when I find a team stupid enough to take Rollins off our hands we will be in good shape. If Ed Wade was still in Houston we could probably get Singleton back, but they fired him because he shit all over their organization. Yeah we had to do him a solid though for letting us get so many stars from that triple A team. Alright it is time for me to go and count my money I will see you later Ruben. Do not forget about acquiring talent for me or else he'll pitch right-handed. Which would still be better than our depleted bullpen. You have my word we will be a great team. Fuck the luxury tax we are going all in. The NL East will not know what hit them.